Welcome to our channel, Four Season Travelers. Taylor is currently working on a long travel kit on the Bronco. And since we are back in Reno, his cousin decided to come out and help us, which is pretty cool of him. So let me show you guys what he's doing. Okay, we're turning apart. We're getting new lower control arms, new upper control arms, new axles. You name it, it's all getting replaced. It's all Baja kit. So I'm gonna try, let's get the brakes off. Mm -hmm. We'll zip time up for now. Finally, got her. Got it? The jack was sinking into the asphalt, so we had to put another one under there. I'm gonna help Betty and I'm gonna help Austin. With what? The Bronco. Mm. See for yourself. <laughs> How's it going so far? Yeah, pretty good. We got it all apart. Just put our steering bushings in. So what, both of the, the fronts taken off? So I bent that back okay. to where I kind of think it was. Now what are you doing? Putting the tie rod back on. Then we gotta take the tie rod apart. Why would you put it back on and then have to take it apart? There's a strategy. Cause we gotta take it apart in the middle. It's gonna be kind of a bitch. The hell is a tie rod? It steers your car. Oh. I learned it ties your, too. It ties your wheels. <laughs> yeah, it ties your wheels together. Ties them like yeah. a shoelace? Pretty much, yeah. Just <laughs> crisscross, you know. <laughs> rabbit ears. <laughs> Budsy, don't lay under the car. It's a tie rod reinforcement. Yeah. Reinforces your tie rod. But that's why you have to have the bushings in there to reinforce your steering rack because shit goes downhill. Where'd you get him? Uh, rough country. I have the best wife ever. Best wife ever. She's gonna cook me and get me some water. So while the guys are working on the Bronco, I am going to cook some tri-tip and I don't know, some other stuff. Cause this is what I do on these days is I cook everybody's food and I make sure that they all have water. <laughs> I have to take this whole thing apart and replace this center section with a longer one. But they aren't liking me too much. They don't have the right tool to pull these apart. We're replacing the axles. With that long piece? So this That's one... the new one. Yeah, so the new one is a little longer than the old one. Oh. We're trying so to figure out how they come apart. So, we took off 
the upper control arm, the lower control arm, the sway bars. These are the axles, so I had to take all these apart. That's the old axle shaft, and this is the new one, so it's wider. Because uh, those that whole setup's gonna be three inches wider than stock. So I'm re-greasing these, sealing them up. And then uh, Austin has got the new control arms on, it looks like. And we just have a couple more things to do and we'll be putting her back together. Okay, so this was the original one you can see right there versus what it is now. New control arm here, and there'll be another one up here. So we got this one most of the way in, and then we'll put the knuckle and stuff back. We're getting there. It's a little warm out. I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna die. I like your box. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it has character now. The guys are gonna be stoked because it took forever. Uh, the grill kept shutting down and it was, um, for some reason it wasn't lit like three times. So we're really far behind on lunch, but they're not even done with the front of the Bronco, so I think we have time. Here's Austin. Okay, so we just took these over to his house and these were kind of sticking up like that and we had to cut them off because uh, they stop your steering. So Austin took care of that with his grinder because I didn't have one here. And then here's our Bronco in current form. So this control arm is new. Baja kits, wherever it says it right there. Baja kits, billet, upper arms, the king shocks. This is the axle shaft. It's new in the middle. Tie rod does the steering. Uh, extension in there. Sway bar's still off. We just have to get those spindles on. And then, so this is our old lower control arm, all aluminum, weighs about two pounds. Those new ones weigh, I don't know, 20. And uh, they're pretty beefy. The same thing going on this side. We still have to extend these brake lines out and then get the spindles on and bleed the brakes and then we're about there. So it's coming. So currently the axle's not going in with it should. We still have this long one. Okay. That one just went in? It just went yeah. in, but that's the long they one. They could be sided, but is that the same? Yeah. yeah. Is that the, the same? The pictures online are showing that color on this side. Is that different spline? I mean, that's a different spline. The length. <sighs> the length of the shaft is different. Yep, we're there. So Shut it's, up. It's the same shaft. It's not the same shaft. Okay, so our brake line is in, but really tight. So, gotta extend the brake lines. Then our sway bar end link is too short, so it gets replaced with that guy. Um, you can see it's longer, beefier. Uh, but I didn't get a bolt for that with my kit, so I had to go to Lowe's and get another bolt. So, I'll get the sway bar on, and then we're gonna be working on some brakes. You know it's super hot? Mm. Watching you work on cars. Mm. Okay, we're on day two. Uh, getting stuff finished up here. 
kind of a disaster yesterday. Uh, these axle, the part numbers say they're on the other side. We didn't pay attention when we pulled them off. And so this one said it was the part number for the other side, but it's longer. So we couldn't get it in and we struggled forever. Then uh, we finally figured it out that this, we had them backwards. So we struggled for like two hours. Yeah. And I was like hammering away at this axle and then I bent the threads off. So we fixed it and then it was a disaster. But well, we got it. They're in. I'm buttoning up the sway bars now. Why'd you check your rear brakes too? Because this one's the furthest away, so it might collect all the air, which is exactly what happened. Okay, so Taylor just got done bleeding the brakes, putting on some spacers that are actually made here in Reno. What's the company? Bo Bora. Bora. I'll put it on there. Real and then, spacers. And then he rotated all the tires while we were still, I mean, up in the air. Torqued everything. Double checked everything. I think it's good. Just need to get aligned and we'll be on the road. Yeah, so he called like 10 places this morning and he can only get it aligned in like, what, three days or something? So he's just gonna take it for a little cruise around the block, nothing crazy, just to see if everything can settle and see how it feels. And after he showers, see how the height is. yeah, see how the height is. Not getting in my car looking like that, but so far it looks really cool. I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm sure Taylor's ready to take it off road. Yeah. Just to grease these. <laughs> What's these? The bottom control arms have a grease joint. Oh, apparently he just put on rear shock skid plates. That's what just came in the mail as he was finishing up another project. So we're just gonna add this on right now. Skid plate. And then now he's installing the skid plate that goes under the rear end. Okay. They make really legit stuff, but it's very expensive. Yeah, we'll be just them all crawling. Extra curb potential right here. Like when you strap something down because you're a dad, you're just like, ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. So I'm heading to go get the Bronco aligned while Taylor's at work. But you guys look forward to the next video. We are going to take the Bronco out to the Moon Rocks, which are in Nevada, in Northern Nevada. And we're gonna go try out our new Baja long travel kit. So stay tuned for the next video. Give us a like, give us a follow, and we will see you guys next time.